Sick of struggling to hit those silky smooth frame rates at 1440p? Well, you're in luck, because in today's video, we'll showcase the top 5 best GPUs that'll take your 1440p gaming experience to the next level. From budget-friendly bangers to hardcore high-end monsters, these GPUs have the firepower to make your games look and run better than ever. So let's check them out. We are starting with the AMD Radeon RX 6600 XT, which might not be the most powerful GPU on our list, but it's definitely the best value if you're looking to get into 1440p gaming without breaking the bank. Sure, it can't quite match the sheer performance of the high-end stuff we'll talk about shortly, but you'll definitely love it for the price, since it usually manages 60-plus FPS in the latest AAA games at max settings, even in more demanding titles like Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Red Dead Redemption 2. The 8GB of GDDR6 VRAM also helps future-proof the 6600 600 XT a bit, so you don't have to start dialing back settings the moment a new blockbuster drops. And if you're willing to tweak your graphics a little, the 2607 MHz boost clock and 16 GBP as memory speed can even help you hit 120 FPS in esports titles and older games. One area where the RX 6600 XT does fall a bit short is upscaling tech. While it does come with AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution 2.0 and 32 ray accelerators, you won't be getting a very high frame rate when ray tracing. So, if that's your demand, you'd better pass. Yet, if you're looking to balance performance with affordability without sacrificing too much image quality, the RX 6600 XT more than holds its own for traditional rasterized gaming. There was a time when we wouldn't have considered a graphics card within the $400 to $500 range a mid-level pick, but that's the world of PC gaming nowadays. And if you're prepared to drop that sort of cash on a graphical upgrade for your PC, at least you can buy the RX 7800 XT knowing it's going to net you great performance. Now, when considering the RX 7800 XT, you need to decide how important ray tracing is to you, the rendering scheme that creates more realistic lighting and shadows in games. If you highly value ray tracing, you may want to consider the slightly more expensive RTX 4070 Super from NVIDIA, which offers better ray tracing performance. However, if you're convinced rasterized performance is the only GPU metric worth having for PC gaming, then the RX 7800 XT is probably the best mid-range graphics card you can buy today. For 1440p gaming, it can consistently maintain 60 FPS or higher in the latest titles like Cyberpunk 2077 when set to the highest graphics settings. And if you use upscaling techniques like AMD's Fidelity FX Super Resolution to maintain smooth frame rates, it can even handle 4K in many cases. When compared to previous generation graphics cards, the RX 7800 XT performs similarly to the high-end RX 6800 XT and RTX 3080, and it often outperforms NVIDIA's RTX 4070 in standard gaming scenarios. The only games where NVIDIA's card has a clear advantage are those that heavily utilize the latest ray tracing effects. Yet, the RX 7800 XT undercuts the RTX 4070 in price, making it a relatively affordable way to get flagship-level raster performance. So, if you can live without the absolute bleeding edge of ray tracing, this is the 1440p GPU to beat. Next, we have one from NVIDIA, the RTX 3070 Ti. Now, we all know NVIDIA GPUs are often pricier compared to the AMDs, and they excel mostly at 4K. But this one manages to deliver fantastic value, especially if you're big into those NVIDIA-exclusive features. Let's start with the basics. The 3070 Ti is around 15-20% to 20 faster than the AMD Radeon RX 7800 XT. So in pure rasterized performance, the 3070 Ti holds its own. But where this card really shines is in the ray tracing and DLSS departments. Crank up the ray traced lighting in games like Metro Exodus, and the 3070 Ti simply outclasses the AMDs we covered earlier, despite being a much older model. We're talking nearly a 30% performance advantage. And with DLSS, you can push those frame rates even higher without sacrificing image quality even a bit. The GA104 chip, with 6,144 CUDA cores and a 1.77 GHz boost clock, will only make things even better by running everything buttery smooth. Of course, if you could care less about ray tracing or DLSS, the AMD options start to look a bit more appealing from a value standpoint. But for the complete package, great 1440p gaming, killer ray tracing chops, an extraordinarily high boost clock, and DLSS support, the RTX 3070 Ti is tough to beat. It may not be the absolute fastest GPU out there, but it's one heck of a capable all-rounder, especially if you want to take full advantage of NVIDIA's software ecosystem. 
The RTX 4070 Super is a smartly respected graphics card that we won't hesitate to recommend as the best within the $500 to $650 range. This thing is no mere refresh. It's practically an RTX 4070 Ti in disguise, with a serious performance boost over the standard RTX 4070, all while only using almost half the power. That makes it a brilliant card for 1440p gaming, which can even stand tall in 4K territory with the help of NVIDIA's revolutionary DLSS 3. We liked the RTX 4070 a lot for its great mid-range performance, but the Super variant has around a 10% lead in the benchmarks, and that's a reasonably healthy margin for a little more cash. Sure, the original RTX 4070 is still a great buy at its new price point, but the extra cash for the Super model is well worth it if you want to future-proof your rig. The performance gap is big enough that it's a no-brainer upgrade. NVIDIA had to keep the older 4070 around to compete with AMD's killer $499 Radeon RX 7800 XT. But the 4070 Super puts some serious daylight between those two cards, easily outpacing the AMD option in benchmarks. That being said, if you're looking for the sweet spot between price and performance, the RTX 4070 Super is where it's at. It's faster than last gen's top dogs, the RTX 3080 and RX 6800 XT, all while sipping less power. So this GPU will surely let you max out the latest games at 1440p without breaking a sweat. And finally, the best AMD graphics card for 1440p right now is easily the Radeon RX 7900 XTX. We're used to seeing GPU generations that arrive on smaller process nodes, redesigned architectures, larger caches, reworked shaders, more memory, the list goes on. But all of that, all at once? That's what RDNA 3-powered RX 7900 XTX delivers, the whole lot in one fell swoop. After all, many starters consider it a high-end 4K graphics card, so you can guess what you'd get for 1440p. The newer RDNA 3 card has enough pace to justify its higher price by comparison, as it generally outperforms the older RDNA 2 cards by 20%, and in some games, like Final Fantasy XV or Starfield, a whole lot more. That's because the RX 7900 XTX has 20% more shaders, 8% higher boost clocks, twice as many FP32 units per shader, and 67% more memory bandwidth than its predecessor, the RX 6950 XT. The increase in memory capacity from 16 GB to 24 GB with the RX 7900 XTX is also a nice bonus, and the ray tracing performance on RDNA 3 is much more convincing to make me part with my money. Combine it with a beefy CPU and an ultra-wide monitor, and you'll be maxing out the latest games without breaking a sweat. For the best possible 1440p gaming performance, no other GPU can come even close to the RX 7900 XTX right now. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel.